Gaining access to Malaysia's largest construction site involves some tight security checks. Uwe Zwiefelhofer drops by on a regular basis. He's the manager of the German plant manufacturer Lurgi in Southeast Asia. This methanol factory was commissioned by the Malaysian oil company Petronas. Zwiefelhofer explains why negotiations with them were lengthy. It took two years, but in the end we managed to convince the client that we have the competence and basically we are the only ones able to build a plant on this scale. The plant was designed by Zwiefelhofer's colleagues. They also bought the materials and now supervise the construction work. Their main challenge has been ensuring the right parts are in the right place at the right time. Everything needs to be transported by ship to the remote island off the coast of Borneo. Once the plant is operating, the methanol it produces will provide the basis for paint and a chemical substitute for lead in fuel. It makes financial sense. On the one hand, what we have here on a mass scale is the ingredient you need to produce methanol, which is natural gas. On the other hand, the product we're making here is close to the market, because methanol is very widely used in Asia, particularly in China. In this respect, it's an ideal location to produce methanol. These workers come from the Philippines. There's a shortage of local labor on the island. Many Malaysians are highly mobile, and their ability to work in soaring temperatures means they're in huge demand in other regions with hot climates around the world, where wages on construction sites are often higher. I believe that at the moment, yeah, ma there are many mega projects in in Middle East or in India. So if there's an opportunity, we would like to go over there to work. Uwe Zwiefelhofer has been in Malaysia for three years. In his experience, only those who maintain a permanent presence in Asia will stay in business. Their Asian partners like their working relationships to be built on trust. Zwiefelhofer's staying power has paid off, and the ink is already drawing on another multi-million contract. Some 20,000 people live on the island of Labuan. The new methanol factory has brought additional money to the region, and there's no shortage of business opportunities. This used to be a sleepy fishing village, but the island has reinvented itself. A trip around the harbor is like a journey into a Malaysia that no longer exists. This former fisherman now earns his living ferrying tourists and construction workers around the island. He lives in one of these houses, but in a few years' time, homes like these are likely to be few and far between. A series of support projects is being established here. There will be hotel rooms for up to 3,000 guests, an entire catering industry. People will shop here. There will be lots of jobs for locals. It will mean a major economic boost for the island. The project is an ambitious one. Uwe Zwiefelhofer's team only has seven months to get everything ready. But so far, they're on schedule.